dope guest here today. Uh, but before we get to the guest, we always want to, you know, burn the sage, which is already lit. We got the sage going so we can purify the air. You know, it, it sage is used to get rid of, you know, uh, the, the bacteria. Um, and as always, we got the live new plant for libations. So we're going to pour a little libations and everything for the ancestors. So uh, if you want to uh, give a shout out to the ancestors, whatever ancestors you um, have in mind, you can give a shout out to the ancestors. And if you want to give a shout out to any other ancestors, go ahead and give a shout out. Breeze complete. All right, put that to the side. So now that we have that out of the way, let's get started today. Right here on It's Just Steve TZ. <laughs> and so let me introduce y'all or let the man himself introduce y'all because they, you know, do his best. And D. Juan Pierre. D1 Pierre, D1 Pierre, D1 Pierre. Much respect for you have, for you being here. Let's we have go, a special go. one today because uh, not only am I going to have an interview with you, um, but we're actually going to you're actually going to be doing works of art at the same time, right? I'm on that. I'm down. That sounds good. <laughs> you know, we got a blank canvas here and everything, and uh, you're going to use your imagination. Now, uh, let everybody know about. Uh, yourself and what you do and what you're about? Uh, well, basically what I do is I paint a painting that's already paint. It's just y'all can't see it and I can't see it. So what's happening is when I'm literally when I'm painting, I don't know what I'm painting. Y'all. I don't. I don't plan. The most I do, y'all, is color selection, which is sometimes the hardest thing because I love all colors. So it's just like, let me just hurry and pick six colors and then start painting, but it's once I get in the act or the dance or the ritual, it's just, I'm being a medium and I'm just opening up and I'm just letting spirit and entity take control of me to paint the canvas. And after it's painted, the title, the poem, the story, everything will come after that. But right now y'all are witnessing it from my point of view. This is how it happens for me. I don't know guys, I don't, I just paint. <laughs> That's okay. it. Okay. So, um, where, where are you from? Uh, born, uh, I'm an African deceased that was born and raised in Jamaica. Came to the States when I was 13. Grew up in Houston. I was in Houston for about 18 to 20 years. Moved to Atlanta because I was definitely looking for change. And I didn't move to Atlanta right away for change. It was more for love. Uh, and love led me to Atlanta, and once I got here, I noticed I was like, "Oh shit!" Oh, there's a lot of love to get out here. In <laughs> it's, it's a lot of love. It's just like I feel at home. It's like right, right. everywhere I go is a reflection of me. Like I've not seen that since I left home in Jamaica. So it's like everywhere I now turn, it's I'm seeing myself a reflection of myself, which is beauty and it reflects in the heart. Now, did I hear you correctly when you said, uh, did you say descendant, uh, African descendant or African deceased? Uh, it's, all right, let's go with the word now. I believe I did say descendant. Okay. If, I, if, okay. I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, but either or, descendant or deceased. I, I believe I'm deceased at this time. I'm just still alive. You see what I mean? It's I'm nothing but I'm everything. Like, I'm dead when I'm painting because it's not me painting, guys. Honestly, it's not me. Like, I just started painting, guys. I've been doing art my whole life, but I just started painting. It's been four months now. Four months. But my whole life, I knew I could paint. I just never got to it. And it's like, when I first picked up the paintbrush, it, it just answered everything for me. Just I didn't know what motions or strokes I was doing. I just loved the outcome. So it's... Not something I've been doing my whole life. So that's why once I tapped into it, I, I'm i already aware of a lot of stuff, but that's when I, it, it's just like, okay, you're aware of it, but now you're, because I'm aware of it, 
it can happen to me like that easier because I know what's going on. Oh, so uh, we are a multi-layer people, so we have a lot of gifts and abilities. So we're going to be presenting your art ability. However, what are the other things that are underlying with inside of you? Oh, culinary. I'm a vegan health and nutrition chef. I'm an astrologer. I I do a little bit of everything, y'all. It is really like in the moment, it's hard to like answer the question because it's like so much stuff that I do. Mm -hmm. I just know how to survive and make money and keep myself afloat. Of course, y'all know I'm a poet. I write poems. My poems go with my paintings, and so it's, just look out for me. It's a lot that I do. They all be coming to you. Just little bite sizes. Just stay tuned. Mm -hmm. That's that's dope. That's dope. Now, uh, what inspired you? So, uh, so as we talk, let's go ahead and just get get, get oh, let's go let's go let's get, get the started. You know, uh, I pick a color, Steve, and that's what we all. I, I know what I want to do with your color. I know what I want to do first. Though, but pick a color real fast, Steve. Pick a color. Pick it. Okay. Um, so so my favorite color is red. So I don't see red <laughs> in there. My well, bad, Steve. Uh, the color I've been uh, gravitating to uh, for the past couple of years now has been orange. So let's start off with that orange. Okay? All right, we're going to start with orange. And as you see, when I'm going, it's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't really have to look at the canvas too much. It's art, regardless of what takes place, I'll be okay. Mm -hmm. there so, Go ahead, see. Yeah, so, so what got you inspired to even want to, you know, take this uh, life route of being an artist and everything like that and, and getting into the painting? Well, my ins my inspiration, a lot of our inspiration come from our mom, but it comes from the black woman, the black woman. You're talking about our mom in general or your mother? I'm talking, at, I'm talking as a whole and separate. When I speak of my mom, I'm talking about my mom, but I'm talking about all, all moms. But for me, it's I'm that type of person to where it's always singular, pure with me. So, inspiration came from my mom when she used to sit me down. She first started to notice I had an interest in art at the age of five, where I used to just draw toy cars and stuff like that. And she sat me down one day because me and my mom we always had like profound conversations. She's all pro always prophesizing to me. And she said, son, you do know you're going to be a painter and a lot more than you are going to travel the world. She told, my mom told me that when I was like six. Fast forward now to about three years ago now, and my mom was like, you're about to start painting again. I've been watching you in my dreams. And I'm like, oh, snap, all right, all right. That's cool to know, mom. You know, that's cool, I, I, I love you. But mom telling me this, I'm like, yeah, yeah, mom. I'm not saying my mom don't prop size right, but I'm just like, yeah, mom, that's not my focus right now. Life put me in a certain hold, and it's like, the painter was brought to the to front of the scenery, and once I dove in it, like my mom was with me the whole time. And it's like the reason why me and my mom had that connection is I went twenty years without my mom, so it's like once she got back, it's like I don't want to lose that connection again. So that's really just my inspiration is my mom, and outside of my inspiration, to me is my purpose back my inspiration. I can be inspired. And that's real good, but my purpose is what I'm here for on this earth plane. So if I can align anything I'm doing in this time to my purpose, it makes it that much more better. So I love that my inspiration aligns with my purpose. And my purpose is really just here for understanding of self and for the world and to make myself the individual I am a better individual each and every day and to make the world a better place each and every day because if you better yourself in reality you're better in the world mm -hmm. now um i hate to give uh props to your mom